What's the story behind Ava Mendez and Ryan Gosling's unique baby name? We'll tell you, but first, Angelina Jolie opens up about working with husband Brad Pitt, among other things. Jolie stunned in sophisticated white at the London premiere of Unbroken, a drama she directed. While Jolie says this isn't the end of her acting career, it sounds like movie lovers should get used to the idea of Jolie on the other side of the camera. I much prefer being behind the camera. I can act in many things and you can try different to, to experience and express different characters, but to direct is years of your life and you have to really love it and believe in it. Jolie also opened up about combining that love for directing with the love of her life in By the Sea, the upcoming film she directed and stars in with husband Brad Pitt. Very intimate small film but very heavy subject matter and, and it was nice to do that kind of work with Brad. Ava Mendez is revealing the inspiration behind her newborn daughter's name. She and fellow actor Ryan Gosling welcomed Esmeralda Amada in September following a very secretive pregnancy. In an interview with Violet Gray, Mendez reveals the couple chose their baby girl's unique name because they both, quote, love the Esmeralda character from Victor Hugo's novel, The Hunchback of Notre Dame. An update now on a story we've been following on the scandal surrounding Gian Gameshi. The former CBC radio host has dropped his $55 million lawsuit against his former employers and will pay them $18,000 in legal costs. Gameshi was fired by the CBC a month ago after several sexual abuse allegations were made against him. Now we're faced with the question, where does the case go? Uh, there's no civil case. At least three women have gone to the police with their accusations. A criminal investigation is underway. The former Q host claims that while he is engaged in, quote, rough sex, it has always been consensual. Formerly an avid social media user, Gameshi has deleted both his Twitter and Facebook accounts and disappeared from public view. Montreal filmmaker Xavier Dolan's drama Mommy has been nominated for an Independent Spirit Award for Best International Film. This isn't the first time Mommy has been recognized. It was up for the prestigious Palme d'Or at this year's Cannes Film Festival, where it won the jury prize. It has also been chosen as Canada's entry for Best Foreign Language Film at the upcoming Academy Awards. And we wish Xavier luck. Now on to a film looking to earn some big laughs in part three of our Horrible Bosses 2 morning show exclusive. We're talking to Oscar winner Christoph Waltz. Everybody I talk to says you're notoriously one of the nicest people ever to work with. Being nice is just a defense. It keeps people at arm's length. They don't know who you really They don't know who I really am. And then when I play the part, I can let it fly. I make new enemies every day. It's called business. You've been in a lot of great ensemble casts. What's this one like? With uh, the Jasons and Charlie, I needed to be very much on my toes. Uh, not that they deviated from the script, but they embellished. There's constantly something going on between them. Boom! Marker drop! Kidnapping. That's kidnapping. With one more P it is. That's kidnapping. Horrible Bosses 2 hits theaters today. And remember, you can find us on Twitter at NCity for all your latest entertainment headlines.